How do you calculate demolition costs? If you're planning a demolition project, whether it's a small house or a large commercial building, understanding how to calculate the costs is crucial. Let's break it down step by step to help you get an accurate estimate. First, you need to determine the size of the structure you're going to demolish. This includes measuring the area in square feet. For example, if you're demolishing a residential house, you might have an area of 2,000 square feet. Next, you need to know the average cost per square foot for the type of structure you're dealing with. For a house, this could be between $5 to $15 per square foot. For commercial buildings, it might be between $4 to $8 per square foot. Mobile homes, concrete structures, and pool demolitions have their own specific cost ranges as well. Now multiply the area of the structure by the cost per square foot. For a 2,000 square foot house with an average cost of $10 per square foot, the calculation would be 2,000 square feet, $10 per square foot is equal to $20,000. However, this is just the starting point. You also need to consider other factors that can affect the cost. One of these is the complexity of the project. For instance, if the structure is tall or has complex architectural features, it will requiring more labor and equipment, increasing the cost. You can use a complexity rating, which is a factor between 1 and 10, to adjust your estimate accordingly. Another critical factor is the presence of hazardous materials like asbestos or lead paint. Removing these materials requires specialized equipment and trained professionals, which can add thousands of dollars to your project. Permits and regulations are also important. You need to obtain the necessary permits, and failure to do so can result in fines. The cost of permits varies depending on the location and size of the project. Equipment and labor costs are significant as well. The type and amount of equipment needed will depend on the size and complexity of the project. For example, a small residential demolition might only need a few pieces of equipment, while a large commercial demolition will requiring heavy machinery like excavators and bulldozers. Labor costs will also vary based on the number of workers needed. To get a more detailed estimate, you can use a formula that includes several components. Volume of material. Calculate the volume of material to be demolished and removed from the site. Rate of production. This is based on your organization's past experience with similar projects. Cost of production. This includes current costs for labor, equipment, and disposal. Direct costs. These include permits, insurance, travel costs, landfill fees, utilities disconnections, site grading, security, and environmental requirements. Salvage credit. This is the estimated market value of salvage and scrap items that can offset the total cost. For instance, if you're demolishing a commercial building, you might calculate the debris volume using the formula length x width x height x13 slash 27. This helps in estimating the required disposal resources. Finally, adjust your calculations based on additional factors such as difficulty in accessibility, environmental safety measures, and weather conditions. These can significantly alter the final cost of your demolition project. By considering all these factors and using the right formulas, you can get a comprehensive and accurate estimate for your demolition project. This will help you plan better and avoid any unexpected costs down the line.